Hello YouTube, this is Phantom Roy, and welcome to Madden Madness. In this tournament it's win or go home and anything can happen. It's an AFC matchup today in Lincoln Financial in Philadelphia. So who you got in this one? Let us know in the comments below before the game and subscribe to follow the action as it happens. So without further ado, it's the Browns, it's the Bengals, it's Madden Madness and it's time to get it going. And it looks like the Bengals will kick it away to start off the game, which means they'll get the ball to start the second half. And the kick is away. Peppers. He'll get it out to the 25. So a net gain of zero. And that's where the Browns will start their drive. So out comes Deshaun Kaiser, who had some turnovers, had some good plays but he is a part of a team that hasn't won since the 2016 season. And that was his rookie season as well, so he has yet to get a win in the NFL. The last Browns win came against the Chargers in 2016. Bengals showing blitz. Kaiser throws under pressure, hits Sammy Coates. So that first play of the game will be a positive play for the Browns as we look at the Browns offense. Joe Thomas, one of the most famous linemen in the NFL. Josh Gordon, one of the most famous wide receivers in the NFL as well. And the Browns come out. It was a five yard gain on the previous play. Setting up a second and five. Kaiser. He's got Njoku. And he's got a first. So, two plays to start. Two passes. So they're showing some confidence in their young quarterback early in this game. And under center is Kaiser. And he's going to throw. He's running. He's running for his life. And he's got a first down. Yes, and a flag down on the field. So that's a 25-yard play when you take the run and the penalty. And just like that, Cleveland's on the edge of field goal range. So the Browns have come out really strong so far in this one. And Kaiser's been the one leading the charge. Kaiser under center, running formation for the offense. Kaiser hands it to Isaiah Crowell, who's got a decent gain, a gain of eight on his first carry. Second and two coming up. And the Cleveland Browns book is wide open. They can run, they can pass, they can play action. It's all up to them. Cincinnati's totally in the dark. Browns coming out in the eye, showing run. Kaiser hands to Crowell, and Crowell is dropped behind the line for a loss of two. 
So this will bring up the first third down of the game. Third and four coming up. Three receivers, Kaiser in the shotgun, running back to his right. Kaiser's going to throw, rolls to his right, throws over his body, hits Coleman, and one more flag. So it is a first down, and then some. Plus we'll see who this penalty is against. Looks like a face mask, and it is. So now it's first and goal for Cleveland. They're coming out hot. So Cleveland is impressing me right now. Just driving down this field like nothing. Three receivers for Kaiser. Who's in the shotgun? Kaiser's going to throw. Stepping up in the pocket. Rolls to his left. Upfield. He runs. And... He's run in for the touchdown. Browns get on the scoreboard first. And that's the first rushing touchdown by a quarterback in Mad Madness. Number seven is going to get seven for his team. And Bengals are playing from behind. And I'm just really imp impressed with Cleveland right now. Five plays, 49 yards, just over three minutes. Touchdown. And the Bengals have to rally here early. Hugh Jackson. Or no, sorry. <laughs> no, not Hugh Jackson. But if I do remember right, Hugh Jackson was a part of the Bengals before moving to Cleveland a couple years ago. There is Hugh Jackson. So Marvin Lewis' squad has to figure out a way to move this ball down the field and get a touchdown. See if they can answer here as the Bengals back, ready to return this kick. Kicks away. And it sails over his head, out of bounds. And the kick's going to come out to the 25-yard line. Andy Dalton, he's, he had a pretty good year last year. 18-8 in the regular season. Of course, they didn't make the playoffs. And they were looking to be one of those sneaky good teams, as ever, as many people thought. But they, their season will be defined by that final play against the Ravens, knocking the Ravens out of the playoffs and allowing the Bills to sneak in as a number six seed. So Bengals, first play. Dalton's under center. Dalton steps back. Rolls to his right, cuts up field, takes the tackle. And he suckered down after a three-yard gain. Here's the Bengals offense. No real household names on the running, or sorry, on the offensive line. But A.J. Green and Joe Mixon are the two really big names in this offense aside from Andy. three receivers for Dalton who's in the shotgun Dalton and he hits his man in the hands but dropped incomplete he had a good shot at the first down if he could make that catch here's the Browns defense Miles Garrett the number one overall pick last year 
And here's the linebackers. And the secondary. Third and seven coming up for the Bengals. Their first third down attempt of the game. To Tone Center. Let's see what tone they set. Three receivers for Dalton. He's going to throw. Surveys. Rolls around. And he's got Boyd. No, they're going to say incomplete. So with that drop pass, it's now fourth down. And Cleveland will see the ball again, already up seven. Bengals are going to punt here. Huber kicks away. Decent kick out to the 15 where Jabril Peppers is going to run it back 15 to the 32. So it's going to be a 17-yard gainer. They're calling it 14. So whichever one you want to believe. <laughs> um... Cleveland's going to come out now, and we'll see what they can do. They got decent field position either way. Start. Three receivers. Kaiser and shotgun. Crowell. And he stumbles forward, and that's going to be close to a first down on the run. Second and one coming up. Last time they ran, tried to run for the first down. We'll see what they do here. They are one for one on third down. Here we go, second and one. As Kaiser comes in with some motion under center. Kaiser throws over the middle. He's got Coleman. And Coleman's refusing to go down. Ultimately falls at the 45 after dragging a defender for three yards. So Coleman having a game so far. And the Browns are driving again. Under center is Kaiser. Running formation. He's going to hand it to Corolla. Right. And there's two Bengals there to meet him. He's not going to do anything on that run. And it's going to be second and long. And here's the Bengals defensive line and company. Geno Atkins up front. Vontez Perfect on the right. And here's who's deep. And the Bengals were kind of sneaky good in 2017 on defense. I believe they were a top 15, but closer to a top 10 defense. And they're showing bliss. They're showing a lot of pressure as Kaiser's under center. He's going to fake the handoff, and he's going to get smacked. Carlos Dunlap with the sack. It's a loss of 11, bringing up a third and 21. And I was saying they're sneaky good, and that's why. Kaiser's got to remember that, though, for the next time they show a set like that. If he can roll back into the shotgun and get a quick throw off, that's a touchdown. But it's up to Kaiser to figure that, figure that out for himself. They don't have to run this play if they don't want to. Five seconds left in the first and counting. Bengals are showing blitz, and they're going to get the playoff. Kaiser 
pressure behind him. He's rolling up field, throws on the run, and it's incomplete. Just a little bit too long for his receiver. That's going to do it for the first quarter. Browns with the ball, already up 7-0. second quarter and the Browns are going to be on their own side of the field but they're going to punt as well out comes their punter and Cincinnati will have a chance to match this touchdown Colt quit kicks away and it's going to bounce into the end zone for a touchback out comes Dalton and company trying to get something put together for this next drive they couldn't get they couldn't elongate the drive on third down getting kicked off the field after their first attempt at a third down conversion and they also scored, didn't score any points, which is the most important thing. Three receivers for Dalton, running back behind him. Strong left. Dalton throws. Hits Boyd. He's got a decent game. Gain of six on the sideline catch. Second and four coming up. And Marvin Lewis who's been a coach in the NFL for about as long as Bill Belichick. But there's a vast discrepancy in what they've been able to do with their time, to say the least. Bengals under center with Dalton, who's going to hand it to Joe Mixon, and he's going nowhere. Number 55 smacks him in the back, backfield. And it's going to be third and four, just like that. And Bengals are going to try and get their first third down conversion in this one. Bunch set of receivers on the right. And Dalton's going to get, might get a first down here. He might have got him off sides. It is a first down. You got Larry on that one. And so that's going to be the Bengals' first third down conversion, if you want to call it that. There's more a given third down conversion than one taken. But nevertheless, Cincinnati's drive will continue after this next play. Out comes Dalton in the eye. Three linemen to the right of him. He's going to hand it right to Mixon, and Mixon has a decent gain. He's got a first down. So zero yards on the first run, ten on the second. And Cincinnati's starting to drive. And that run could have gone for a lot more if he didn't get tangled up there right at the line or right at the yard marker. First down marker. Bunch set to the left of Dalton as he lines up under center. Dalton going to step back to throw. Dalton's rolling to his right. Rolls up field. He's scrambling up field. He's got a first and a little bit more. And two Browns are going to meet him. But not before the Cincinnati Bengals get into the Browns territory. Good job by Dalton knowing that it's either deep zone or man coverage. And when that happens, quarterback is the uncovered man, and he can break for free for some yards. Cincinnati's going to break huddle. Under 10 seconds on the play clock. Four receivers. 
Browns are going to be blitzing. Dalton throws. He's got Mixon on stride, and Mixon stiff arms a tackler, but is brought down at the 27. So Mixon is kind of putting the team on his back so far in this drive. Mixon and Dalton, it's been all on the ground. Except for that throw. Excellent throw. And the Bengals are coming out. Balanced formation, but Dalton will be lining up under center. And fakes the handoff. He's rolling to his right. Throws. And it's picked off in the end zone. And he's going to take the knee. And that's body Calhoun. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I've never heard of him before in my life. But I'll not forget his name after that interception. And it was Dalton's fault, really, for just forcing it downfield. He could have ran upfield for maybe a couple yards or thrown it away. But instead, he forces it into the end zone for a pick. So Dalton is without a touchdown, but he does have an interception. And the Browns will start once again from the 20. And see if they can widen their lead a little bit more. Out comes Kaiser under center, running formation. Kaiser's going to hand it to Isaiah Crowell, who's got a pretty good game. Out to the 28. Second and two coming up. And they've had a couple of first downs that have gone that way with eight yard gains. They've had, this is their third, I believe. Oops. Three receivers, Kaiser under center. He's going to pitch it to Corral, who gets the first down. So they're just going to see what they can get on that play. I like the call of the pitch, though, because that could break for big yards if Cincinnati gets too gung-ho with the blitz. They aren't, so, but it is enough for a first down for the Browns. Just under two and a half to play in the second. Running formation as Kaiser's under center. Hands it to Crowell. And he's got five yards. And we're at the two minute warning. Browns with the ball. Up. Seven zip. And driving. Alright, here we go. First play of the two minute offense upcoming. Second and five is the yardage. Cleveland gonna break huddle. He's in the shotgun. Kaiser. It's Njoku over the middle, and he's got a first down. That's a gain of six, and we'll see if they hurry back to the line. They're going to huddle up instead. Want to take some extra time to make sure they get this play right. Three receivers wide. Kaiser in the shotgun. Running back to his left. Kaiser's going to throw. He's rolling upfield. Kaiser rolling to his right. And he dumps it off as he's hit. He dumps it off, and they're going to say it's incomplete. He only got one foot down. 
wouldn't have mattered much. It would have only been a one-yard one gain if it was called a completion. Second and ten upcoming. Three receivers for the Browns. Kaiser in the shotgun. Kaiser rolling to his left. Dumps it off to Crowell over the middle, and that was a dangerous pass. That falls incomplete. So this will be the Browns' third attempt on third down. One for two thus far, and they're trying to make it two for three. Kaiser under center, running formation for the offense. Kaiser running for his life, and he's sacked. He's sacked. And so Cincinnati's going to stop the clock and get a chance to get a score of their own. Marvin Lewis looking for his first score of the game. And they're going to see if they can avoid being shut out in the first half. And Hugh Jackson, unfortunately for them, have to punt. And Kaiser's just going to get some Gatorade on the sideline as his first half appears to be over. Cole Quick kicks it away. Pretty good kick out to the 19. Erickson runs it up for maybe a gain of six or seven on the play. And with just over a minute to play, here comes Andy Dalton. Since he has one turnover thus far, it's an interception thrown by Andy Dalton. But their third down conversion rate is pretty good, one for two. Dalton under center, three receivers out wide. Dalton's going to throw after a two-step drop, and he's going to roll to his left and throw out of bounds. It's unclear if he was trying to hit somebody or if he was just trying to get rid of the ball. So it'll bring up second down. And now if Cleveland can get a stop on second and third down, they can get the ball back with a good amount of time left. And with two timeouts, they can still get a score. So this play will decide a few things here as Dalton gets ready to throw. Hits it to Boyd, who's out of bounds, and he has a decent gain. So clock stops just under 59 or just at 59 seconds, and third and four upcoming. We'll see what they elect to do here. Dalton's got four receivers as he gets ready to throw. He does throw, and it's incomplete over the head of everyone. And so, fourth down comes up, and Cleveland's going to have a chance to get a score. Here comes the punt. Huber, and he's taking a while to get that kick off. Nearly blocked. And ball sails into the end zone. Had a good line, but just doesn't get the right bounce. So Cleveland's going to come out just under 50 seconds to play at their own 20. So the Browns and the Bengals are equal on third down, just and they're both one for three. Four receivers for Kaiser. Kaiser. 
throws deep down the field. He's got Gordon, and that's Gordon's first catch of the game. Oh, they're going to call it incomplete. <laughs> incomplete. Second and ten coming up. I thought he must have only got one foot down because that ball was in his hands. It does stop the clock, though. 44 seconds left in the second half. Three receivers for Kaiser. Kaiser's going to throw here. Rolls to his right. And he hits Crowell, who dies for the catch. And that's going to elect to be a bad decision as they lose an extra three yards because of that dive. Third and 13 upcoming. Alright, here we go, third and 13, and we'll see how conservative they are on this call. Kaiser hands right to jo Johnson Jr. And timeout called by the defense. So three and outs on both sides, and since he's going to get the ball last, unless they get a three and out, which is, well, there's not enough time left unless there's an incompletion. For all intents and purposes, this is the last drive of the first half. Colquick, back punt. Kicks away. And it's going to be caught at the 30, return to the 35. And that's where Cincinnati's going to start their drive. Now if I'm Cincinnati, I'm just going to take one play and run like an offensive play that's high percentage but not risky if that makes any sense you don't want to give the ball away on this side of the field with still 26 seconds left and Cleveland still has two timeouts so we'll see if I'm them I'm gonna call a screen here because Cleveland I'm sure is sending at least some extra pressure looks like they are Dalton rolls to his right and he's going to cut up field. Dalton, Andy Dalton's got some legs. And he's up at the 48. Cleveland, or Cincinnati's going to call their final timeout. And we'll see what they can do here. So near midfield, Dalton's real op only options are... If he completes a pass over the middle of the field, it can't be too far downfield, and he's got to run up and spike it no matter what if he wants to get another chance at a play. So bounce set for the offense. Dalton. Spins off the tackle, and he's moving upfield. Andy Dalton. He's tackled down, and we'll see if they can get this spike off. Five seconds. Three, two. And I don't understand why we're seeing replay right now, but it was a good run. Absolutely. I don't think they're going to get this playoff. All right, here we are. Seven zip. Browns have the lead. And we've hit halftime. 
but mad madness there's no such thing as overtime or as half time so we're gonna skip ahead and Cleveland leads seven zip Gonzalez will kick it away. Cincinnati will receive. Caught at the goal line by Erickson. He's going to run it up past the 20. And down at the 22, they'll call it. So it's a net loss of three. But once again, Erickson had to run out because he was already out of the end zone. And if I'm Cincinnati, nothing's really gone that especially well on offense. Run's not been there. Pass hasn't really been there. Dalton has been making some plays with his legs, though, so I wonder if they'll work in one or two plus, uh Play action reads. Dalton's going to throw. And he throws right before he's hit out of bounds. Just throws that one away. And Dalton's stats have really looked really bad, honestly. At least in, when it comes to throwing one interception. And he's somewhere in the category of four, to, four of nine, three of nine. Second and ten for the offense. Dalton in the shotgun. Screen to Mixon, and Mixon's got some room, and he's got a first down, gain of 12 on the play. And when you can't get away from the pressure and you're being pressured a lot, hit him with the screen. That'll back up their, um, their cornerbacks and their linebackers. Now we'll see if Cincinnati can build some momentum here as he comes in under center. Bunch set to his left. Dalton to Mixon, and he goes nowhere. He's going to lose one, and that'll bring up a second and long as well. And that's kind of been the pattern on this drive. Short gain on first down, and then they have to figure it out from short second and long so we'll see if they can overcome this second and long once again Dalton's gonna hand it off to Bernard who gets only a yard they'll say but his stats will say no yards gained Third and 11, they'll also call it. So, third and 11 for the offense. They're just a measly one for three on third down. Trying to make it two for four. Three receivers. Dalton's going to throw. He's rolling to his left. QB spy on him, and he's going to throw it across his body, and it's picked off. His second interception of the game. Kindred. And that's just an ill-advised pass by Dalton. It's third and 11. We get it. But live to fight another down. That, that was pretty rough. And Dalton's had a rough game thus far. And it gets worse. So out comes Kaiser. And we'll see if he can make this a two-possession game. And three receivers for Kaiser, who's under center. 
on the edge of field goal range. He's going to throw immediately to Njoku, who bobbles the catch and ultimately drops it because of a hit by Denard. So second and long for the Browns. And if they can gain any yardage at all, they have a decent chance at hitting the field goal. We'll see if they can do just that. Kaiser hands it to Corral, who's got some yardage. They're going to call that a gain of six, and it's going to bring up third and four. Good blocking up front. Springs him. This will be their fifth attempt of the game. There are one for four thus far. And two receivers running formation. Kaiser in the shotgun. Kaiser's going to throw. Screen pass to Johnson Jr., who's going to get the distance. Touchdown, Cleveland! Johnson Jr. And you get a good run on the previous play. Sets up the screen at, because they might blitz on third down trying to get that stop or knock you out of field goal range. And so you take that and use that to your advantage and call the screen. So Kaiser's got two touchdowns. Extra point is good. Cleveland's up 14-0. So number 14 over here has to overcome a 14 point deficit and they have to get on the field in order to get this Erickson's going to take the knee in the in the end zone for a touchback and they're gonna march it out to the 25 so Dalton's only 4 of 11 and 2 interceptions under 50 yards passing Oof. he's the first quarterback to throw two interceptions in a Madden Madness game and it's against Cleveland So unless Cincinnati can mount a drive here, Cleveland's going to be in good position to win their first game in just about 20 games. Mix in. Gets a gain of two out to the 27. And so that'll bring up second down, eight. Dalton snaps, two seconds left. He's going to roll right and take what he can get with his legs, gain a four. So third and four upcoming. A.J. Green in the slot for this third and four. Dalton's going to throw. Dalton's rolling to his left. Throws on the run, and it's too long, but there's a flag down, and I think this might be pass interference. Pass interference. Defense. Critical penalty at the worst time. Cleveland had a chance, if that, if you avoid the P.I. call and you keep it incomplete. Cleveland would honestly have a really good shot of putting this Cincinnati team away. 
But as it is, Cincinnati's going to get the ball now at midfield. Cincy in the eye. Dalton. Nixon gets walloped. Lost a two on the play. And they come out of angry after that pass interference call. Setting up second and long. And Nixon's going to feel that one in the morning. Immediately. Pummeled. He just comes in unblocked. So that's a good play call by the defense. Faking out the offense. And four receivers for Cincinnati. Nixon runs to his right, and he's going to lose yardage again. It's a loss of one, bringing up third and 13. This will be their sixth attempt of the game. Two for five so far. Dalton's in the shotgun. Three receivers, one running back. Dalton's going to throw. Seven back, and he's sacked. Huge sack. Loss of 11 on the play, and Cincinnati's going to have to punt now. So Cleveland's going to get the ball, even though they gave up that pass interference call. They give up the P.I., and they don't give up a single yard after that. And Dalton just ran right into it. He's been running right up for most of the game, and the defense just knew that he was going to do that. They caught on. Don't buy it for a second. And here comes the punt. Clock's running. Under 20 seconds to play in the third. Huber kicks it away. Excellent punt. Oh. Just a hair too long. Too many, too much of a bounce. Could have got the ball at the one inch line instead. It's going to come out to the 20. And Cleveland's got all the momentum right now. They've been in this position a couple times over the past couple uh, over the past couple years, but they ultimately fall short. Things just go against them, or they play terribly. They can't close. Let's see if they can close here. Last play of the of the third quarter. Crowell's got a pretty good gain, and there's a flag down. Might be a face mask. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Ugh. It just can't get any worse for the Bengals. Automatic first down. Uh, automatic first down, and they're nine yards short of midfield after one play. <laughs> and when Cincinnati's just going to give you yards like that, it's really hard to mess up. So Cleveland has a pretty good chance with all the momentum and moving the ball, and Cincinnati just cannot figure out a way to string together some good plays. All right, end of three. Browns lead, 14 zip. Can they finish? So there you have it. Browns are up 14 zip in prime position to win their first game in just about 20 games since December of 2016. So about a year, a year and a fourth, 15 months. Kaiser hands to Crowell. Crowell, he's got a gain of four. Second and six coming up.
If they can get four runs on every run, they would definitely take it. Kaiser going to throw. Kaiser's got Gordon on the slant, and he's got a catch. First down, Browns. His first reception of the game. He's their star wide receiver in this one. He's been out of the league for a while now because he's had some issues with his drinking and his drug use. But he's back now, and the Browns really do need him if they want to make a run in this tournament. Browns for first and ten, running formation. Kaiser in the backfield. Hands to Crowell on the halfback base. And it's going to be just a gain of two. So here comes the second and eight. Strong left as Kaiser's under center. He's going to hand it to Crowell again, who's only going to get two yards, and here comes a third and six. Critical play for Cincinnati. If they want a chance to win this game, they have to get a stop here, and they can't really give up too many more yards because the Browns are on the edge of field goal range, and if they can get up 17-0, it looks really bad for Cincy. Four receivers. Kaiser in the shotgun with his running back. He was right. Kaiser's going to throw. Kaiser's going to roll right and throw it away. Smart play by Kaiser. Don't force anything. Just play the time game. And put some uh, confidence in your defense. Oh, they're going to try the field goal range. He's going to kick it from the 47, 48. And it's not going to get there. Too far. Goal post is too far. And now Cincinnati's going to get the ball at midfield. So I'd say that's a critical mistake by the Browns. They should have just called for the punting unit. And if Cincinnati finds a way to get a touchdown and win this game, which is obviously we're looking pretty far ahead right now. But if that happens, it's going to be that play call. That's going to be the Browns undoing. As it is, first and 10 for the Bengals from the 48. And Cleveland's defense, if they can get a stop here, then Cleveland's got a really good shot at winning this game. Since he really can't settle for the field goal either. Dalton steps up in the pocket and throws on the run. Incomplete. Let his man too much. Clock stops in the fourth quarter. Exactly four minutes left to play. Dalton throwing from the shotgun. And he overthrows his man for the second time in a row. Dalton's only 4 for 13. And he's having a terrible, terrible day. And here comes 3rd and 10. Can Dalton complete his pass? Critical moment in the game here. 3rd and 10. Dalton's going to throw. Dalton's rolling around in the pocket, running to his right. Running up field, and he's got the first and a little bit more. That's the only way he's, they, they've been able to get first downs is having him run up and scramble and get it himself. We'll see if that first down creates some momentum for the Bengals. Clock is running though. Three, three, three. 
for the receivers. For Dalton, who's in the shotgun, takes the snap and steps up, fumbles, balls out, and they recover their own fumble. Creates a loss of 15 on the play. And Dalton almost had his third turnover of the game. <laughs> Runs into his own man. I don't understand. He must have been looking a different way while he was running. And Lewis is pretty fired up. I would be too. Clock's running. Under 10 seconds on the play clock. Dalton's in the shotgun once again. Three receivers. Two to his left. Dalton. Runs to his right. Throws on the run again. He's got Croft in stride. And Croft has a first down out to the 16-yard line. So Cincinnati's in the red zone for the first time in this game with just about two minutes left in the fourth. And I think this is going to take us to the two-minute warning. the two minute warning so Cleveland's going to lead this 14 zip but Cincinnati is in the process of that comeback we'll see what happens alright here we go Bengals have been shut out so far but they're going to have a chance to make this a one possession game if they can get in the end zone they're currently in the red zone for the first time of the game. Dalton rolls to his right once again. Throws across his body. Too long for his receiver. And that stops the clock. A minute 55 left to play. Second and ten coming up. Out comes Dalton under center. Steps back. Gets ready to throw, and he dumps it off to Mixon over the middle for a gain of five. And here comes third down. Third and five. Dalton steps up, throws for the end zone. He's got Boyd. Touchdown, Cincinnati. And here we go, say Browns fans. Amazing. And it comes back to that decision to kick it on, kick it from midfield, basically. McCarron's going to hold for the kicker, and the extra point's good. So just like that, it's a one-possession game here at the end of the fourth. And Cincinnati's probably going to try and kick this extra point. And it'll be up to Kaiser if he gets the ball again to get this, get a first down and end this game. The first, the onside kick. Cincy kicks it away, so they will not try the onside kick. Jabril Peppers will take the knee and just take the free 25 out. As Kaiser comes on the field, and he's going to have to get a first down here to end this game.
The last couple of games have been pretty wild in the final two minutes. So anything can happen. Browns under center with Kaiser as they run it up the field with Crowell, who had a lane it seemed, but he was brought down after only a gain of one. Second and nine upcoming. Marvin Lewis hoping that his defense can step up in the biggest moment. And if I'm Cleveland, you got you got space to run backwards. I would say you'd run a screen here because since he's going to be expecting to run, and they're expecting to run, so they're going to be running straight at you and leaving the at the ends of the field wide open. But we'll see what Cleveland elects to do. He's under center. Hands to Crowell. And Crowell's got a first down and more. And that might just seal this one since he's going to take a timeout. And their odds of winning have just dropped to really close to zero. <laughs> and the Browns are actually really, 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 really likely to win this game. Their first win in 20 months or 20 games, 15 months. come the Browns and we'll see if they'll t kneel it. Nope, they're going to run at least one more play. And the Bengals trying to get that early jump off the ball are going to be off sides. So, free five yards for Cleveland. Still first down. And I gotta say, that man right there, Deshaun Kaiser, he's had a heck of a game. I'm really impressed with him. I kind of, to be honest, I expected a flip flop. I expected Kaiser to be the one throwing the two interceptions as opposed to the two touchdowns. But good for him. And if Cleveland can somehow. I say that sarcastically. Win this game, then the Browns can will take on the Pittsburgh Pittsburgh Steelers, and here's a penalty down on the field, and that'll make it official. All right, now we're just waiting for the clock to hit zeros. So let's take a look at the updated brackets. There it is. Browns will take on Pittsburgh in the second round. And they'll get their first win in almost a year and a half. Knocking out the Cincinnati Bengals. And Crowell's going to run it since he's going to take their final timeout. And I think Cleveland can pretty much just kneel it out at this point. They might. Well, no, the, 
as long as Cleveland can just run the ball. Oh, here we go. Niels. So there you have it. And that'll do it. Cleveland's going to win their first game in 15 months. They just outplayed the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals had a bad, dang, bad game, and so Cleveland had an above-average game, and that was enough. And Lewis is out. Thanks for watching everybody. If you liked the video, hit the like button. And if you want to see who if the Browns can win this thing, hit that subscribe. So until then, as always, 